In Ciudad Trujillo, there are frenzied demonstrations as the people of the Dominican Republic pour into the streets to enjoy the rights of free men after three decades of Trujillo rule by force. The cheering, chanting, screaming Dominicans are welcoming back two leaders of the opposition to the former dictatorship, returning from conferences in Washington with officials of the Organization of American States. The symbols of Trujillo rule are rapidly disappearing from the Caribbean nation, and already ousted with U.S. support were members of the late Generalissimo's family who were generally believed to be plotting a coup. The demonstrations are viewed by observers as indicating the desire of the Dominican people for a new political order based on representative government and respect for individual rights. But the nation is still far from normal, and the man at the helm, President Joaquin Balaguer, faces challenges to his leadership. He has scheduled meetings with inter-American fact-finders exploring Dominican progress toward democracy. In a popular move, he has urged the nation's Congress to restore the capital's original name of Santo Domingo.